Why, hello there, and welcome back to another Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers video, where today, myself, haven't quite got enough green screen there, and this chap here are going to have a conversation. This is the Anxious Crystarium Guard. Um, I'm a little bit late starting this one. Um, this is... that's pretty... Crystal Tower is very pretty. Um, this is the start for the Eden Raid, which has been out since Tuesday. And it's currently Friday. So I'm a little bit behind the times. And that, of course, means that every single person in the entire game is going to expect me to know exactly where to stand, exactly how to tank uh, the bosses in Eden. And um, they're going to be horribly disappointed. Because I haven't been and looked up any guides. I'm that kind of person. A really loud car just went past. So loud, in fact, that I heard it through my headphones. Well, not through my headphones. Over the top of the sound coming from my headphones. I am rambling. I do apologise. Let's get on with the video, shall we? In the middle of nowhere. One of the Crystallian guards is particularly relieved to have found you. Fairly certain we found him. If I'm honest... Demogen, have you seen Reen? She's been looking for you. Wait here. I'll go and get her. We, we still don't have that emote, do we? Or do we? Is that an emote that we've already got? And if not, why not? I want it. Waiting. Ah. There you are. The truth is, I need your help. Okay. Now, hold on. I haven't even told you what it is yet. Don't need to, Reen. Ahem. After you defeated Emmett Selk, I sensed a strange concentration of light somewhere far to the north. South, even. In the empty, the lands that were once swallowed by the flood. Huh? I can't tell what it is, but we have to find out. For all we know, it might even be another light warden. But whatever it may be, I don't intend to stand by and watch. I'll... I'll stop in thought? Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Thank you, Uri Anjai, and I have a few theories that we plan to test once we find whatever's causing this. The three of us were reluctant to ask for your help, considering everything that you've been through. The thing is, you're the only person who can defeat a light warden without becoming one yourself, so we have no choice. Yes. While well, we don't want to jump to conclusions, it would be a good idea to have you there, just in case. So, will you come with us? Perhaps we should... No. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Thank you, Demogen. This means a lot. First of all, let's head to the Derrick in Amaran. Thank you, the new Yange should have everything ready by now. The Derrick. I don't remember where the Derrick is. Fortunately... Well, it's in the middle of nowhere. It's where it is. See what we did there? <clears throat> the Inn at Journey's Head. Still got a lot of quests that I can do in uh, Amarang. Carry me, Deathclaw. Ah, so this is going to be our uh, base of operations, I'm assuming. What is that? New mount? Oh, is it, this is the, the, the vehicle that we've seen um, snippets of in screenshots. Right. Uh, which one of you is Thancred? That one. Sorry to drag you all the way out here. I have a feeling you'll miss the place when you see what we're going with it, where we're going next, though. Just a blessing to see thee so hail. Okay. No, that's Triskelion. I hope the desert creatures didn't give you too much trouble on the way here. No, I teleported. <laughs> I doubt they posed any sort of challenge to her. Would the die could say the same with confidence about whatever fiend may be waiting for us out there. 
Even if the light that Reen sensed turns out to be nothing of consequence, the empty is hardly the most welcoming of places. Anything that could survive out there is not to be trifled with. Moreover, it should be reiterated that the light blasted wasteland poses as severe a threat as any foe we might face. I've forgotten how to do Rianger's voice. In any event, we are in agreement that this phenomenon doth warrant investigation. Though for lack of more precise means of navigation, we must needs rely on Reen's innate in abilities to guide us. I have formed several hypotheses related regarding can't read tonight regarding the nature of the light but speculation is a poor substitute for first-hand observation there'll be plenty of time for us to talk about it on the way is the sky slipper ready anchored ready to take us wherever we need to go aye back again too maybe if we ask it nicely it looks Though the light hath been expunged from Norvant, the ambient ether of the empty is still corrupted. Dangerously so, in fact. A flood of light devastated everything in its wake. The soil, the air, the water, all rendered incapable of supporting life. It is due to this imbalance that the empty remaineth utterly uninhabitable, even a century thereafter. That's why we're taking every possible precaution. Between the etherometers I've packed and Reen's unique abilities, we should be able to detect and measure any fluctuations in our alignments. According to the Quisterium scouts, a few days out there won't a few days out there won't affect us to any noticeable degree. But much longer than that, and we risk becoming sin eaters. Wait, since we don't know how chocobos and ammo warfare in the empty, we opted for a more mechanical mode of transportation. This comes courtesy of the researchers of the Mean, who found it in the Crystal Tower and restored it to working order. Okay, it's quite safe, I promise. The person in charge said he'd have parts delivered from the Crystallium should anything break. He seemed quite eager to see what we bring back from the empty, even though I told him we're not hunting for treasure. I'll introduce you if we have a chance to stop by Maud Sook at some point. Who? One of the Kobolds? One of the Mords? Anyway, I think that covers everything. When you're ready to leave, just say the word. Bird. Although the flood of light is believed to have expunged all traces of life from the empty, we must remain ever vigilant. We know not what we shall find. While I'm piloting and means navigating, you and Uriange will be free to enjoy the view and engage in rousing conversation. By that I mean he can spend the whole time talking at you while you nod in agreement. He's right there, Thancred. Well then, shall we? Depart for the empty. Yes, I assume Triskelion can't come with us. This has got a certain Star Wars-esque feel to it. Why is the pilot seat so high up? Well, I suppose it's because it needs to be able to see, obviously, but... With a name like The Empty, I wasn't expecting much in the way of pleasant scenery, but this is downright depressing. To look on the land swallowed by the flood with mine own eyes is a chilling sight indeed. Approximately nine tenths of the world are as this. Slate all but wiped clean. Wait, not for the warriors of darkness and Minfilia. I mean, are you sure we're headed in the right direction? Yes, I'm certain. There's no telling how far away it is, though. She looks really tiny. Nothing for it but to keep going, then. You two back there might as well take a nap. I have a feeling we have a good few miles ahead of us. Hmm. Bye bye. Uh, yes, it is empty. As opposed to the emptiness of Promethean in Chains of Promethea, which weren't empty at all. I have to say, it's a touch larger than I was expecting. And is it sleeping? Are you talking about Uri Andre? No, wait. Ooh. Uh, yeah, that is on the largest side. Norvant. The empty. They really need to up 
uh, the quality of those, the resolution. No, it's waking up. I don't like the sound of that. Is it a light ward? No. No, I don't think so. Instead of being filled with light, it is light. The first Sin Eater. Long have I strived to unravel the mysteries surrounding the Flood of Light to discover what set that terrible cataclysm in motion. So something crashed! Every thread led to the same conclusion, the same single point. Or single being. I have reason to believe that the entity we see before us is the first Sin Eater, the instigator of the Flood, the very foam in Philia vanquished a century ago. Huh. What was it then? She gave everything she had and won. But if it's waking up. But this abomination could undo her work. Aye, the possibility cannot be denied. Though it is oft said that destruction and creation are but two sides of the same coin. Bean. Knowest thou of what I speak? The power to shape reality, to bend the laws of nature. What was once shattered may be forged anew. That's all well and good, but don't you think we should give it a name first? Bob! Eden. Utopia in Fae, a most auspicious title. Interesting that uh, a second Utopia, um, because of course Amorot uh, is from the novel uh, Utopia by Thomas More, uh, the, the satire. And uh, the society of the Amoratines, the, the Asians, as it were, theirs was a Utopia. So it's interesting that they've gone for the second, which ties it in a little bit more closely with the main scenario than certain previous eight-man raids have done. Now that that's settled, perhaps we should find a spot to set up camp. I even brought a couple of tents on the off chance, but pitching the damn things is something of a fine art. Does anyone fancy helping me? Do we get Thancred's Gunblade? Is that what you get as a level 80 Gunbreaker? I, I really want to know exactly how big this thing is. It's difficult to get a sense of scale when everything is empty. One second. For any of you who don't know, this is the Final Fantasy VIII world map music. Uh, which, obviously, I heard quite a lot. Though frequent rest may allay the symptoms of prolonged exposure to the empties ambient ether, it would be unwise to linger here over long. Thanks, Uyanje. Uh Where's Thancred? Where is Thancred? Mount unavailable in this location. Uh, Thancred? I'm stuck in a rock. Oh no, it's not a rock, that's a campfire. Mm, is he up by the car? The manor slipper? No. I don't know where Thancred is. Maybe he's gone exploring. Maybe he's having a kip in a tent. Speak with Reen again. I never realised that putting up tents could be such a bother. Still, I'm glad we got there in the end. Thancred should be back from scouting the area soon. Once he's here, we'll be, we can plan our next move. Ba, 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 ba. During the course of your investigation, you may discover valuable artefacts. These can be exchanged for equipment by speaking with Gul Gul in Mordsuk or Yal Yal in Yulmur.
Deploy the core. More materia. I wonder what's taking Thanquid so long. I wonder too. Maybe he's being chased. Maybe he's discovered an entrance. Maybe he's dead. Ah, there he is. No, he's not. He can't die because we need him as part of the trust system. Well, that was rather uneventful. Not that I'm complaining. Did you find anything? No, thankfully. There's naught but barren plains in every direction, apart from Eden, obviously. I tried approaching it, and the brute didn't even seem to notice me. I thought it best not to tempt fate, so I withdrew. We should act now before it's fully awake. Meaning what, exactly? When I think about the flood of light, I get the feeling that rather than destroying everything in its path, what it actually did was stop the flow of ether. Of course, that meant all the plants, animals and people here could no longer survive. They must have crumbled to dust in the years since. But the ether is still here, lying dormant. Passive. If Eden is the one that caused it, maybe it can get it flowing again. I don't know for certain, but I think I can use Eden to bring life back to the empty. Ah, so this is how they're going to solve the issue of there just being no vent left. Now, hold on a moment. What makes you think that's even possible? And how do you expect to control that kind of power? Green's aspirations may not be as preposterous as that or surmise. I believe Minfilia halted the Flood of Light's advance not by destroying Eden, but by silencing it. And in so doing, she hath gifted us an opportunity too precious to waste. Even now, the flame of hope burns on. Yes. I. Oops, wrong voice. I. As Minfilia's successor, it standeth to reason that Reen doth possess the means to exert her will over Eden. But such a monumental task is not to be taken lightly. What sayest thou, Demogen? I imagine this is easier said than done. Yes, you're probably right. But I have to try. Very well, Reen. You made up your mind, so how should we go about this? In a series of four dungeons. I have an idea. I've been studying it carefully ever since we arrived, and it seems to me that the light is more concentrated at a certain point. I suppose you could call it the core. That giant Talos had a core too, like a beating heart to control the flow of ether. If Eden's core is the same, perhaps we could use it to restore the etheric balance. Hmm. The theory is certainly sound. By employing Ethernet shards as beacons, mayhap we could trace the ethereal flow to Eden's core and in so doing secure the means to teleport to the very heart of the beast. Thankfully, the settlement council has kindly furnished us with a plethora of apparatus by which to perform such feats. However, we must needs first have Reen study the entity's interior and chart, it to chart us a suitable course. Once we have reached our destination, I shall fabricate a means by which you may directly communicate with Eden. May I exert a measure of control over it? You can really do that, Uriange. All credit is due to a dear friend, a gentle soul long since departed who imparted to me a wealth of knowledge concerning etherology. Rest in peace, Moonbreeder. Although I'm certain she would be all too quick to chastise my methodology. Ah, oh, unexpected feels! Excuse me for interrupting this trip down memory lane, but I don't imagine that Eden will be too happy about us rummaging about in its innards, for want of a better term. In all seriousness, though, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of welcoming party arranged for intruders. Perhaps you would best lead the way, Demogen. It's true that she's not the only one who can defeat a Light Warden, but I'd rather not rely on her any more than we have to. Oh no, it's true that she's the only one who can defeat a Light Warden. Yeah, that. 
Yes, I haven't forgotten what happened when she absorbed too much light. But as Alice said, making promises you have no way of keeping is not a kindness. Now, I wish I could put down rewards myself, but the simple fact is I can't. There's no point pretending I can. That's why I'm asking, Demogen. Then perhaps I could... You already have a job to do, remember? The only reason this plan even has a chance of success is because of your involvement. We need you to concentrate on the task at hand and guide us to the core. Not only that, you'll have to keep an eye on Eden itself. If we somehow manage to make it angry, get us out of there. Are you sure you want to go through with this? Not... This is what I do best. Oh, no. Different emote. I won't let you down. Though we will remain here, Reen and I shall do our utmost to guide thee along the ethereal stream. After thou hast breached the exterior, we shall remain in contact via these link pearls. Good to see our comrades in the Crystarium. I was going to say, how did they have link pearls? Being relics salvaged from the Crystal Tower, I fear they may be somewhat less reliable than those to which thou art accustomed. So they will only work at dramatic moments. Womp. Eden's Gate. Resurrection. Now accessible. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Right, just before I start, whoop, use the duty finder to enter Eden's Gate Resurrection. Green's discovery of a vast concentration of light prompts an expedition into the barren wastelands left in the wake of the flood known as the Empty. There you encounter the immense and enigmatic Eden, the very first Sin Eater, and the progenitor of the destruction that all, that all but consumed the world. Rather than seek to end this threat once and for all, Reen hopes to use its limitless power to restore the ethereal balance of the, the empty and breathe life into the planet. However, she must first gain control of Eden's core, which is likely to have countermeasures for repelling intruder. intruders. Intruders? Intruders. Right. I know nothing about this fight. I have not looked at strategies. I have avoided spoilers. I do not know what to expect. Except maybe for that final DPS -er to not click OK. But I'm fine because I get to listen to the Final Fantasy VIII world map music some more. And the party member has withdrawn. Maybe they're in combat. No? Give me an interesting cutscene game. Yes! Well, this, sir. Uh, be careful. Huge amounts of ether are rushing to the core. Wait, what's that? Uh, that is a thing. Eden Prime, Keeper of Knowledge. I'm ready. Uh, I'm assuming the gunbreak is going to tank. I'm going to DPS. It's summertime, says one of our random chat members. Eden's gravity. What? Ooh, jeez. That hits hard. Vice and virtue. Somebody has died.
That's impressive. Ba -ba -da -da. I assume we need to pull these apart. Yep. So I actually want to be here at the front tanking with our buddy. Oh. Pure lights. I'm assuming this is a stack on him. Oh, I love this remix. This is excellent. Oh. Delta attack. There's uh, a lot of people just randomly dying. I think this is going to be a white. Uh... Paradise lost. Hey, Louise. Nah, vulnerability stacks. Ba, 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 da, ba. Fragor Maximus. Whoa. Woohoo. We oh, can't. Can't run off the edge. Right, so a lot of people died there. And I don't think there was anything that I could do to prevent it. Yeah, Eternal Breath is the uh, the name of Eden's ultimate attack in Final Fantasy VIII. Let's use some food. Sphere of Paradise. Right. That is not a cleave. Ouch. Right, stuck in the middle. Okay, we have survived longer than some people did last time. Right, that is a single hit. I love this little bit of orchestral um, singing. Okay. Nope. Ah, I haven't quite got dimensional shift ready. Uh, my buff ready. Right, so this is going to be a load of...
Ba, 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 ba. Oh, yeah. I've mentioned previously that uh, Final Fantasy VIII is uh, my first FF game, but also one of my favourites. Fragor Maximus. I can't remember what this did. Oh, yeah, this is our... Uh... But right, this summons two to ads. Do we want to tank these together? I guess we want to tank them together. These things hit hard. Ouch. Let's get some buffs on. They're not interruptible either. Guardian of Paradise. Tying into the Eden theme. Eden is ready to unleash internal breath. Ah, that's really cool. Oh, and that made my head go. Oh, this is amazing. That's a little bit low res. They, they've literally just copied the, uh, well, they've taken the FF8 version and just updated it. Whee! Into a sun, wasn't it? Yeah, into a galaxy. And. I imagine this will be a lot harder on a... Uh... And I guess we just repeat. Dude, you're going to get everybody shot there. Where are you tanking it, mate? We're tanking right on top of the Black Mage for some reason. Mind you, it might not have any cleaves. Eden's fire. Yeah, our, our gunbreaker seems determined to just tank. Right. So I'm assuming we just repeat. Ouch. That's a lot of AoEs to dodge. Right, is there going to be a... Ooh. Voice of Apathy. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, you can move out the way of that. That's a line. I 
I don't have to move that far back. I just need to make sure that I don't... Um... That I don't overlap with the other tank. Right, pure light. That's fine. I think... Frey! Frey! Gonna get hit there, mate. Ah! Clever. Just avoided it. Oop. That's a cool looking attack. Right. Almost there. Yeah, that, that little bit of orchestral. Nope. Kill it. Yeah. That was really fun. Made all the better by some really good nostalgic music. Or away. Want. A suit of armour of earthly antiquity. Da -da -da -da. Why is there... There's a lot... Is the summer event going on? I'm assuming the summer event is going on. Right. Uh, I want the body piece. Mm. Or the legs. I'm not super worried about the other things. Wonderful. So we've got some legs from that. We need four leg things. Heavy sources. Chausses? Chausses. Forged by some ancient civilization recovered from Eden's Gate. Four pairs can be traded for special leg gear. Wait for the ether to stabilize. Eden generating a smaller replica of herself. Yes. It seems that Thancred's prediction about there being some sort of guardian was right. Thankfully, it was nothing that you and a few of our allies couldn't handle. And I'm glad to say that you haven't absorbed any light either. So far, so good. Now that the way is clear, the ethernet shards can send us to the core and back whenever we need. Why don't we give them a try? Okay. So do we actually get to explore? People are randomly wearing no clothes. That's always fun. Standing around and waiting is hardly my forte, though I dare say I'm more suited to this than whatever Uri Anger is doing. Uh, there's an actual galaxy down there. But this has got a very interdimensional rift feel to it. Though the apparatus is now in place, a number of minute adjustments must needs to be made before attempting to assert control over Eden. Once Uriange has activated the device, it's my turn. Uh, I don't actually know what I'm supposed to be... Because uh... I can't remember what stat does what. Yeah, so that's, uh, I think direct hits is currently what I'm supposed to be after. I, do, I don't really do materia slotting, so, as I said, I'm not a good tank. The 
The time hath come, Reen. Okay. Watch over me, Minfilia. Um. Um. Ooh. Is this supposed to happen? Eden is offering considerable resistance. Not now. Not when I'm so close. Bouillanger! Interesting that not him off his feet, but nobody else. I'm unharmed, but what of Reen? No, you listen to me. Ha! Reen, be careful. There's some very pretty things on display here. I wonder if that script is the same. Woohoo! Going up? Are we going to space? Yep, looks pretty much just like uh, the garden from Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, I say that, I haven't played VIII in a long time. So, how, how exacting that is, I don't know. Well, I'm glad that's over, but for how long? The beast's fury hath subsided. Uh, I'm assuming this is going to be a new quest, isn't it? One bell swoop. 40, 45 minutes into this particular episode. So I'm going to leave it there and we'll come back next time to find out what fell swoop I shall be expecting. Uh, as I've mentioned, I'm not a raider. I don't do raiding. I haven't done raiding in an MMO properly since the Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King. Um, it held... Organised raiding especially has held very little appeal to me. Because, you know, it requires A, skill, which I don't really have, uh, and B, time commitment and coordination, and usually listening to a load of the people on voice chats. And, um, you know, if you've got a nice group, that I'm sure that's great, but uh, my general experience and history with raiding hasn't been particularly positive. So... What I'll be doing is, you know, the story-related parts of Eden. And uh, that'll be it. It won't be Savage or anything like that. I'll leave that to, you know, the, the professional YouTubers and the Final Fantasy XIV players who actually like that kind of thing and have got groups that they can coordinate for that. If I have to read a guide about it before I go in... Meh. Meh. But that's not for me. If you are a fan of that kind of stuff, more power to you. Um... In a way, I kind of wish I was, but I'm not. So, next time, whenever that may be, we'll find out what happens next. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you in that next episode. Cheerio! Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.